hello and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction and we're diving back into Sasaki and Miyano. We're diving into episode four. And yeah, I'm just kind of in the middle of my last little recording session before I go out of town. So I'm just hitting some of my um, series that I, just so I have stuff to edit and upload while I'm out of town. And yeah, so we're going to dive into this and just see where this episode takes us. As always, the full reaction will be over on my Patreon for free. All you have to do is click the link down in the description and it'll take you over to my Patreon for free where you don't have to sign up. Just click the link and it'll open for free. Uh, but yeah, let's dive in and just see where episode four takes us. They're adorable, they're adorable, they're adorable. I love them. Um, so we started with the new semester and Miyano, just, he hadn't seen Sasaki and Miyano, they haven't seen each other um, since the new semester started. Um, but then Sasaki decided, okay, I'm gonna leave a little extra early because that means I get to see Miyano on the train, yay. And you know, they did a little catch up session and naturally, things happen and Sasaki says something and Miyano's like, no, 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 has a little freak out. Um, so he, he sits him down. He's like, oh, there's a seat available. He's like, nope, you sit. You, you, you've got seniority. He's like, okay, cool. Y you want to sit on my lap? No, I could never. Not at all. Throws all the stuff on his lap uh, on the damn ground and just hops on top. I'm like, girl, I, I don't know. Um, then he starts digging through the bag and reading the manga right there in the middle of the train. He's like, no, girl, what are you doing? Um, and, you know, they had more interactions throughout the day. Then Miyano went home and he's like, okay, we interacted just like we did before. But it's still lingering in the back of his head, the fact that Sasaki um, whispered that he liked him on the train at the end of the last episode, thinking that Miyano was asleep. And it just keeps, it keeps, it's in the back of his head. It just keeps haunting him. And he's like, <sighs> I, he, you can just tell he's very confused he doesn't know how to act around him because as far as he's concerned he's straight he he's only liked girls he has no interest in guys yes he reads these BL mangas and this that the other and he knows the ins and outs of all the different relationship dynamics and whatnot but he's not seeing himself as like a member of that community. Like he's not seeing himself as wanting to be one of these characters. Um, he's just reading it for what, for whatever reason, it piqued his interest when he first got into it and he's just been a fan ever since. So it's not necessarily that he's here trying to enact some sort of fantasy in his head. Um, it's just, he enjoys the, the, the genre. He enjoys the series that he's he's reading. So, okay, more power to him. But, you know, it's, it's still, lingering in the back of his head like okay this guy was my friend and he said he liked me he like likes me and how do i how do i act around him what were the things that i just took him as joking about in the past where he was he actually serious when he when he's like oh there's only one way to find out and you know some of the other things where it's like mm, he might have been halfway joking but i feel like you know if you gave if you were like oh yeah let's try it out he, he would be into you know doing the things so i don't know how much he was actually joking but you know he, he he's he's struggling he's going back and forth back and forth because he did he's he, he start. I don't know if he was necessarily questioning his sexual identity because I don't think it's anything that's ever been in question thus far. So he's never had a need to question it or think anything other than just what he always thought. Like, oh yeah, I like girls, whatever. Even though the girl in the past that we had a little flashback of was trying to like, okay, maybe if you dress like a girl, you'd be super duper cute in this outfit. It's like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, then he starts questioning M maybe I do like, maybe I don't like. No, I don't. I'm not into that. I, I only like girls, but he is very handsome. He's not handsome. He's cool. This, like, you can feel that struggle in him. He's He's got a lot of, he's got a lot that he needs to figure out. He, that, that boy is so lost and so confused. Everything makes him nervous and frantic and spastic and it's adorable sometimes, but he, he, he's got a lot of soul searching to do. He's got a lot of just self-discovery to do with himself. Um, and 
Yeah, because nobody can answer these questions about him. No one can tell him whether or not he's gay or bisexual or trisexual or pansexual or asexual or, you know, no one can tell him how he feels except for himself. Um, so he might be getting these impulses like, okay, Sasaki does something and it brings out some sort of reaction in him, um, you know, and that could be an attraction thing or it could just be a chemical thing inside of his brain. Maybe these particular actions draw out some sort of adrenaline in him and the adrenaline is what makes he's confusing the adrenaline with you know feelings or something like you know who knows who knows maybe he's not i mean i'm assuming again since this is an entire series dedicated to them that we are shipping them and they are going to be shipped at the end of the series but there's lots of there's lots of reasons why he could what I, as a viewer, interpret as him getting butterflies or feeling some type of way, you know, ooh, you know, getting the vapors, you know. There could be any number of reasons why he's getting those feelings and it doesn't necessarily have to be love or romance or something like that. Um, so it's not unheard of for him to be into these BL mangas but not actually be a member of, you know, the LGBTQ plus community, not actually be gay or into men or anything like that. Um, but you know he's he's questioning he's 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 confused about a lot of things and confused about how to continue his dynamic with Sasaki because Sasaki clearly has an interest in him he's expressed that um, and then he you know so lot, lot, lots of lots of feelings I like the little scene that we got there with um, Miano and I forget his name but the one whose girlfriend is a big BL shipper. Um, and you know just big into the BL I like that conversation that they had there and that they were able to just talk and relate to one another um, it, it was nice it was a nice little conversation nice little insight um, and again we got to see some more of Miyano just trying to figure out things with him and Sasaki because to, you know outsiders looking in they're like oh they're a couple um, especially when it's like, yeah, you know, all you guys talk about manga, you the BLs, and you hang out all the time. So, and you said you didn't treat um, Sasaki as a as a BL, you know, some sort of live BL adaptation. Is that because you know you you really you really love him, or he's your boyfriend, blah blah blah? And he's like, well, no, no, we're not a couple. We're not, mm -mm, not, not nothing like that. It's like, oh, I, I just I thought you liked guys. And it's like, no, I don't. It's like, oh. Well, not that it really matters, because it doesn't matter. But yeah, like, okay. And then you could see Miano just questioning things a little bit there too. It's like, oh, this 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 poor baby. He 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 just he he needs some soul. He needs to do soul searching and figure stuff out. And then Sasaki came out like a bat out of hell. He saw someone about to lay a finger on Miano's head, and he he flew in like Batman. I'm Batman, and like damn near bit off poor boy's head and then gave him the death stare of a lifetime. I'm like, Lord Jesus, calm down. And then he realized what it was. I was like, oh, it's just you. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm like, baby boy, calm down. Lord. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it, 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 it's cute. It's cute. Again, S -S -S Miano needs to figure things out. Sasaki is trying his hardest to fight the impulse to just like hug and kiss on Miano every time he sees him and I applaud his strength of will um, it's, clearly it's, it's kind of there are times when he doesn't always win that battle the window scene but all things considered he's doing a great job of trying not to make Miano feel uncomfortable or you know influence him in any way shape or form he just so oh, it, it's cute, it's cute, it's cute, it's cute, and we will see where the next episode takes us. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Mwah.